Hello, 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 and welcome to the Chris and Eric Show. I'm Chris Sapphire. And I'm Eric Starr. And together we are bringing the noise <laughs> to you today. So, today we're going to be talking about something that can help out all the people in all the lands out there. Today we are talking about... We're talking about tips on how to know, I mean, how to let somebody know that either you're interested in them. No, so, tips yeah. on how to let someone know you're interested just in them. Just a few tips, you know, just, this to, just, to help, just to help you out, you know, a little bit while you're out there. And this is good, and it's coming from him, and let me tell you guys, oh for gosh. all of you, Eric is great. He's been married his whole life to different men, but he's well, been married God. his whole life. He married different men? <laughs> <laughs> he's been married his whole life, and I've been single for about almost 10 years, so even I'm going to be learning something from my good friend right here today. Come on, Eric, bring it noise. Bring the noise, girl, because I want to know. I want to know because I need help. Okay, well, I think the first uh, tip would be, um, like, let's say maybe you're... Mm, I'm at the bar. Yeah, you're at the bar. I'm at the okay, bar. Okay, you're at the bar. Okay. And obviously, you walk in, blah, 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 you get your little cocktail, whatever, drinking, drinking, drinking. Big like, cocktail. The night, the night, a double, okay? <laughs> then it goes on, okay, and then you see this cute guy walk through the door. Oh, and I see it all the time. Okay, and then you're like, oh, you know, I want to, like, talk to him, but, you know, of course, you're kind of reserved and kind of shy, maybe, uh, or whatever. Yes, I am, Eric. Okay. I'm so shy. I'm that, <laughs> okay. I'm that, I'm that bitch in the corner who's like I wish he would approach me yeah and I think that like most of the time like when you're out there and you think oh it's a cute guy over there you're thinking like oh maybe you know like how do I approach him oh I don't want like to go say hi to him and he's all like who are you why are you talking to me for you know I think the first step is to kind of like know a little bit if they're interested in you so that way see but that's where I get tricky and I know a lot of y'all can agree Cause some of these bitches be going out to the bar and they just out there to like fuck around with your feelings and they want to hold around girls. So they'll be giving you them little looks and stuff. And then the moment you go up to that bitch, he wants to like dismiss you like you're nothing. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> so I get confused. I get confused. Okay. See, let me tell you. And let me tell you, speaking mm. of uh, speaking of this shit, girl, I was at God. Club <laughs> S4 here in Dallas. And I'm not that girl who goes up to anybody because I'm very, very shy mm. when it comes to the man. So, um... I was a little, I was feeling the spirit, which is code word for I was a little drunk. And so I'm standing there and there's this little guy who's looking at me and I'm staring at him and I'm like, oh, is he looking at me? And I felt so happy. I was like, he's looking at me. And girl, so I start giving him looks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, I go sit next to him because I got a little balls and I thought, girl, I got this, I got this, I got this. Mm -hmm. Girl, cricket. I gave him my number and said he was going to call you tomorrow. Nothing. Just a big thunderstorm over me, girl. Well, that doesn't happen to me, girl. It doesn't. I'm just kidding. No. No, it's true. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We go out to the club, no. and 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 all the men, like like a you're a big old honeycomb. All the the oh, men just whatever. stick to you, and all I get are flies and people <laughs> throwing gum at me. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> so, Eric, so well, tell mean, the girls because I know your tips will help them because Eric's no been married forever. No, I mean, just like, you know, make eye contact here. Then. Not like eye contact, like you're staring them down, like, you okay, know, trying so. to scare them away. Maybe like a little, like, glance here and there throughout the night, you know, and... Um, Show me that glance, because I know they need to learn how to do that glance. I'm that I trade. Know. I'm trade. I, well, I usually have a drink. Okay, I usually have a, hold on. I usually have a drink I'm with trade me. I'm trade and a... Uh, hold on. I have a cocktail. Get your, with, get okay, your okay, cocktail. On, He's going to get his cocktail, and I'm going to I'm gonna try to over here look like trade. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Girl, I look over here like Mary Poppins. Okay, no, no, All no. Right. Okay, so, you know, um, you, you have the cocktail, and, you know, I see the guy over there, and, um, you know, so he's like, I don't, let's say he's over there somewhere. Okay. Oh, well, you're, you're right here. Oh, so okay, I'm Trey. Trey's right Girl, here. we already fucking Well, this. I was... We fucking have our scenario. <laughs> okay, so I'm Trey, and I'm this close to Wait, you. Well, that's all too close. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Thank God I got good. Well, anyways, okay, so... <laughs> so, have a cocktail, whatever, you know, you're... Whatever. And he's right here next to you, and so you know you drink a cocktail. Mm. Kind of glance over or whatever real quick. You okay. Know? This is they're not even interested, you know. So I think you probably be looking at my outfit or something. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I already was liking that look already. I was like, ooh. Oh, that was, oh, I, I was looking at your chest. That's oh. why your chest hair. Oh my. And you know what? Speaking of chest hair, like um, we went, we went out like a couple weeks ago, and. I usually have my like my uh, shirt unbuttoned mm -hmm. or whatever, so mm -hmm. my hair is out or whatever. And somebody actually stopped me. One of the guys actually stopped me. Yeah, actually stopped me and said, 
oh, hey, how are you doing? I love your chest hair. And that's like, good. Like, you wanted to talk to you because of that. So maybe that's, maybe, that's another tip. Like, you know, okay. show some hair if you have hair. Um, if you don't have hair, that's Be cool proud too. of your hair. Yeah, but, yeah, like, you know, maybe just sell a little chest or whatever, you know? True that, true that. Women do it all the time, so a man can do it too. Mm. I think, you know, in our gay community, we are always... I guess they try to ingrain in our head that we can't be hairy because mm-hmm. it's like a no-no, but I think hair is... Yeah, it just, it just depends on the person because I know some people don't like hair at all, like, at all. Like, they want everything shaven, gone, completely. Um, but... I think it's cute if you have hair and you, you trim it and you keep yeah, it Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, tip number two is, is have you know, be proud of your hair if you have hair, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. So, tip number one is give them that look. And tip number two is show them your chest hair. <laughs> well, if you have any. <laughs> if you have Or it's on your chest, whatever you got. Yeah. You know, show whatever, show whatever yeah. you got. Now, ladies, for the ladies, if you got chest hair, girl, I don't know if you want to show <laughs> yeah. the men you your wanna, boob hair. You might want to pluck those out. A lot of them. <laughs> Mary, bro. Burn it off. <laughs> okay, I think uh, tip number three, the third and last one, um, would have to be, I think... It would have to be just go up to that person. Okay. I mean, like if if they haven't come to you already, mm. um, I would say just like you know find a way to go up to them. Um, I mean, I guess you could buy them a drink if it, I mean if that they're that age or twenty one. <laughs> Here's the million dollar but, question: You go up to them. Mm-hmm. What is the first thing that you say? Because I feel like mm-hmm. that is so hard to figure out that first fucking thing to say. <sighs> That's hard. That well, not really hard. I, I well, I try to find something. What would you tell me if I was that? If I was that guy over there that you're looking at, what would you tell me, girl? <laughs> um, and I'm over here giving you this look like that. <laughs> you give me that look. I would be a lot like. I wouldn't even go up to you, girl. I'm trained, girl. What's wrong with your face? <laughs> I just stared at you. Can you imagine? <laughs> That's what I go to tell you, girl. I just got Brian staring at you. No, it's all funny. No, usually what, if I see that person I want to talk to, whatever, and I see something that they did or whatever, um, like I kind of use that that whatever happened as a way to go up and talk to them. Mm. Like um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, like, oh okay, wait, for example, like I saw them, I saw them with their friend the whole night or whatever, and then, you know, like, their friend just, like, leaves or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm all like, oh, hey, I walk, I walk by him, hey, what happened to your friend? And, you know, like, blah, blah, you know, blah. Ah, and then they're like, good. yeah, and then they're all like, oh, we had to leave because of whatever, oh, it's, you know, that's, that's bad, you know, blah, 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 well, I'll stay here with you, you know, and for the rest of the night, that's and really hang out with smart. you, or whatever. See, bitch, that's how come you've been married all these years, though, <laughs> no. because that was pretty good, I wouldn't even have thought of that. Oh, really? Yeah, you said, if I, like, you don't, you know, watch, stalking the whole night, or watching the whole night, but, like, you know, you see them, you know, whatever, and then you kind of like, I don't know, just pick up on what they're doing, see, and then you, you got see something. swag, bitch. You got that Let's swag. Go. See, I would have fucked it up already. I would have been like, ooh, I love your skin. <laughs> yeah, that's some like, like Jeffrey Dahmer kind of stuff. <laughs> Ew, bitch, I'm not gonna eat this, bitch. <laughs> I love your skin. Now, I probably no. would have fucked it up just the moment I said hi. I'd been like, hi. They'd been like, no, you just do it. Just, you know, relax or whatever, you know. Um, I also like the, uh, if someone comes up to me just like, you know, very old fashioned, very, like, you know, very relaxed or whatever. Hi, my name is, um, my name is, you know, Eric. Nice to meet oh, you. Nice to meet nice you. To meet my you. name is uh, Bohemia. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> I do drag a, here uh, at the club. That's a, uh, unique name. <laughs> Was that a turn on to you if somebody does drag? <laughs> no, my, See, uh, what if he looks trade down, but then you find out he does drag? You know, I don't, I really don't know. I don't think I would be, I'm not turned off by that. I just haven't been in a situation where I've liked somebody that happened to do drag. My name is Bohemia. Okay, yeah. <laughs> or what if that guy that you're really attracted to, you know, has this very feminine voice? And what would you do? Are you still interested or would you be cracked, girl? <laughs> cracked. No, I'd be honest with you, I think I'd be cracked. Really? And I would be like, uh, I, I think I'd be more caught off guard than, <laughs> like, I don't know, like. Hi, my name, my name is Bohemia. And girl, he's all buff and everything. And then, hey, it happens. I'm down. I'm down. You see, I, I, I guess I, I, I can't be too picky because, I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. know. Here's my tip for all you girls who are out there struggling like me. Bitch, get in the spirit, get real tipsy, and then take a chance. Oh my gosh. Make mistakes. But, but I think that's how you mess it up though, because you're all drunk and like, oh, like, damn, this bitch is drunk. Sorry. 
But at least internally, I'm having a blast. That's true. That is true. No, but I have done it before. Like when I've gotten, yeah, I've gotten drunk before, and I, I like you know hang out with them or whatever, and I go up to them, hey, can I have your number? I'm like sure, and they give me the number, and I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at, it, and then I, I toss it. Oh, because it was just too easy. Like, <laughs> oh, lucky bitch. The last guy who gave me his number was this taxi driver. Some taxi driver who has a wife and kids, and I'm like, uh, That's no, okay. no, I didn't want a home wreck, and no, I'm a Christian woman. But anywho, Eric, your tips were phenomenal. I bet all of y'all are now gonna go get married and find the love of your life. And if you do, send us a photo, leave it yeah. in the comment section. We'd love to see your new relationship yeah. and um. If you're like me, get on Tinder, get on Plenty of Fish, and um, I'm not on Grinder because um, could you imagine me on Grinder? Just my default <laughs> girl. No, man. no, I'm not, like, I'm not on Grinder either. So, no, it's okay. <laughs> well, you'll be but, all right, boo. The world, no, the I'm, world will stick to you. Yeah, I'm okay for right now. No dating sites. I'm cool. If you're interested in Eric Star, oh please gosh. hit him up at two one. No, I'm just playing. Well, you guys, I hope these tips work out for y'all. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Good luck, guys. Oh, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm at Mr. Chris Sapphire, as you can mm -hmm. see here. And yeah, I'm Mr. Eric Starr, so yeah. Check follow us, us and chat with us, and we'll see you later. Bye.